nobody knew about until I had the courage to find out. It all started with my little sister. She was born prematurely and was very sick. So we moved to another city where they had better doctors. To this strange and unique neighborhood that held a lot of secrets. The first thing we noticed was how over-the-top friendly and happy everyone was. It was all baking pies, walking dogs, and planting flowers. We'd never seen such a place, I'm awake so now. we felt a bit paranoid. But this one meeting revealed something extremely different about this town. Yeah. Our neighborhood had a welcoming huh? Four people showed up when we moved in, made small talk, gave me and my sister toys. Then, one of the big men in the committee asked to speak to my father in private. So I was sent to my room, but I was way too curious not to listen. So I kept my door open and tried to catch every word they exchanged. At first, the committee told him how nice everyone that lives here is. And how lucky, incredibly lucky. But there was one thing in particular, one little secret that they had to share. Every morning, from 4 until 4.05, someone or something would stroll through the neighborhood and whistle. The whistling wouldn't really do anything or hurt anyone as long as they didn't look for what we do. Can you turn it off? to go to sleep now. Felt the man stressed. He really is about to make me go to sleep. The whistler had their luck changed. They all look like the light has gone out of them. He told them about one particular neighbor. Tyrese. The first yeah. One that ever saw he really was about to make me go to sleep. She's telling a nice story. story. <laughs> well, I'm gonna sleep right now. Turn, Turn that back off. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good, right? No, I must go to sleep. Don't dare what try is that? me. Put it back off, because I'm gonna watch it. Don't even press the button. That's an interesting story. It's a lot of stories. Wow! Do you, do you want me to tell you how to spell the YouTuber name? What? what? Creative food. Let's go name. Larry, stop her. What was I doing? What are you doing with your mic? I'm not moving it. Stop moving it. I'm not being moved. Do not move your mic. Or I think it was my mic. Ha. Big five. Crazy. Larry, I'm not to leave you. Why? Ready up now. No, why is it on fail? <laughs> when I play box fight. Do you know Squeaker Mason? Hello. Yeah. You know Squeaker Mason?
Do you know Squeaker Mason? I'm about to leave. You asked for it. It's 2 a. Wait. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm about to go to sleep. Okay, you're not talking. Move here. Do you know who Squeaker Mason is? What do you want to do? Want me more of any gun? No. Better than that. Scrims. Go down, Go down some, some more, more Tyrese. <gasps> Come on, Scrims. The OG, the trash G Scrims. The TG Scrims. You know I know how to crank way faster. Scared to death. Come on in, he 
said calmly. I'm milling you. I'm milling you now. I'm milling you now. Tell me. What I do? You're doing my cup. Look, I'm about to mill you forever. Okay, I'm milling you. I'm done. Call what me. I do? Your mic, you keep moving it and you know it. Ever tell anyone that he was the town's whistler. We talked for two hours and he told me the most beautiful tale. He wasn't sinister at all. You see, he and his son were usually walking around in the morning. And when his son died, he felt depressed. He was a believer back then, but he felt like God had taken away his son, so he lost hope. But the memory of his son kept him alive. He decided that he was going to be someone that people could believe in. Something truly magical and good. 